further ado let's get right into it let's get what is up guys we're back today with another video and today i will be doing a wash and go as you saw in the title um so i'm just taking this spray bottle the spray bottle is going to be your best friend with this wash and go you need hot water in your spray bottle i repeat hot water you need it in your spray bottle so here i'm taking a decent little size of hair spraying it again with the hot water and this is my secret conditioner the main ingredient in there um, is the suave conditioner that i used in my first youtube video ever so i'll go ahead and link that above if you guys want the secret recipe then comment down below so i can tell you guys and then I'm just showing you <laughs> how my hair looks with the conditioner in my hair. So then I'm going to take my banana leave-in conditioner by Nature's Secret. And I'm going ahead and raking that into my hair. Then I use the praying hands. And then I'm taking jojoba oil next. And I dropped it. Well, it spilled, I should say. <laughs> I'm just going ahead and um, using the praying method with that in my hair and then i show you again <laughs> and then i took the strawberry styling cream by nature secret and i'm going ahead and raking that in my hair then i'm scrunching in the tablet bit and then i take the lot of body styling cream um and i'm putting that in my hair as well i think i I think it spilled off my hand or something but the method that I use the LOC method um, that really really works great for my hair so yeah I'm just going ahead and raking that into my hair guys and then wiping my hands off and then this is a very important part too for me um, I comb it through before I put the gel in and then I'm taking my wet line extreme gel. I was too excited. This gel is the only gel that works for my wash and go. So I was, I love it. Oh girl, get it. <laughs> so then I'm taking the praying hands and I'm just going ahead and um, putting that in my hair. And then here's the fun part. I show you again how my hair looks <laughs> with the products in my hair. So this is the very important part too if you have multiple textures in your hair um finger coiling your hair or shingling your hair which is like separating every curl that's what really helps your hair your wash and go to be extremely defined so um i usually do this on the left side of my head because that's where my um, different curl pattern is at. So I usually do that the most on this side of my hair. So I'm just showing you guys how it looks with my finger coiling. And then I take some more extreme um, gel and just scrunch it with the gel. Oh girl, okay, I see you. Do it again, okay, okay. I was listening to music. <laughs> so yeah guys, that's basically all I do for this look okay guys so i just wanted to make mention that when i do get to the top of my hair i use smaller pieces so that it could be more defined because everybody looks at the top of my head so um yeah that has to be nice and defined so yeah this is the um left side of my head i was finally done i was excited to be done i was filming myself boom boom <laughs> So yeah guys, then I just took a little bit more gel and scrunched my hair up. That's pretty much it for that side of my hair. Obviously you guys can tell that I wasn't feeling that I still had the other side of my hair to do. Um, this is how my hair looks with products and how it looks without products. I just was dreading doing the other side of my head. So basically I did the same thing for this side. The only thing I did different was take a f some bigger sections just because this side of my hair has a, um, sh a tighter curl pattern. So yeah. Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to 
sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on So because this side of my hair has the strongest curls, I don't really have to finger coil um, as much. I do still shingle my hair, so I still separate the curls, but I don't have to finger coil as much just because the curls are already so tight on that side of my hair, which I wish it was like that for my whole head, but it's not, unfortunately, guys. So, um, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> Oh my goodness, my voice is so annoying on this voiceover. But anyways, I was feeling myself. I was swinging my hair, boom, boom. Hit you with the shoulder smile, pow, pow. Then I took some more gel and scrunched my hair up a little bit more. Okay, guys, when I get done with my wash and go, I do my edges right after. If you guys want to see how I do my edges, make sure you comment down below because they was late. So guys, I'm going ahead and put the oil on my diffuser head. I was showing you my hair. My hair was about halfway dry. I never diffuse my hair if it's not halfway dry. It has to be halfway dry first. And then I go ahead and diffuse my hair with the um, middle to highest heat level. And then I do it with the cool level for both sides of my hair. So this is just basically me diffusing my hair. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. I liked how it came out. I just stretched it and picked it out. If you guys want to see a video on that, comment down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And suggest some videos I can do in the comment section down below. Okay, bye guys.